let's get straight to the point. Number eight, the doorway effect. You know exactly the feeling. You are sitting on the couch, you realize you need something, you get up with a mission, you walk into the kitchen, and suddenly, absolute nothingness. You stand there, staring at the fridge like a sim whose action cue just got deleted by the player. You aren't losing your mind. You are simply a victim of the doorway effect, and it is basically proof that your brain has terrible RAM management. Researchers at the University of Notre Dame confirmed this is a real psychological phenomenon. Your brain treats every physical room like a separate level in a video game. When you cross a threshold, literally walking through a door, your brain registers an event boundary. It decides that information from the previous room is old data clogging your processor, so it purges short-term memory to free up space. It's a survival tactic. Your brain clears the deck just in case there is a bear in the kitchen you need to fight. But we don't have bears. We just have forgotten snacks. So the next time you freeze like a glitching robot, don't worry. Your brain just hit a loading screen and cleared its cache too aggressively. You're literally buffering. Number 7. Phantom Vibration Syndrome You are walking down the street, and suddenly you feel that familiar buzz in your right pocket. You reach down to grab your phone, ready to see who liked your post, only to realize your pocket is completely empty. Your phone is actually sitting on the desk at home. You didn't just imagine it, your nerves actually felt it. This is called phantom vibration syndrome, and it is basically your brain gaslighting you because it is addicted to dopamine. A study from Georgia Tech found that nearly 90% of people experience these ghost buzzes. Here's the scary part. Your brain has become so wired to expect digital notifications that it has started hallucinating them to keep you alert. Your cerebral cortex is constantly running predictions about the world, trying to filter out noise. Because you are terrified of missing a text, your brain interprets tiny random signals like your pants rubbing against your leg or a tiny muscle twitch as a phone vibration. It is a false positive error. In evolutionary terms, it is better to think a stick is a snake than to think a snake is a stick. Your brain is trying to protect you, except instead of protecting you from predators, it is protecting you from missing a meme. You are so addicted to your screen that your nerves are literally crying wolf. Number six, semantic satiation. Have you ever said a simple word so many times that it suddenly sounds like absolute gibberish? You say spoon 50 times and suddenly spoon isn't a word anymore. It's just a weird alien noise you are making with your mouth. You aren't having a stroke, you are experiencing a glitch called semantic satiation. It feels like your brain's language software crashed, and scientifically, that is exactly what happened. When you say a word, your brain fires specific neurons to connect that sound to the concept, but neurons have a recharge time. If you fire the same pathway over and over, those neurons get fatigued, they stop firing efficiently. It is like doing push-ups until your arms give out. You can physically make the sound, but your brain is too exhausted to fetch the meaning attached to it. The link between the symbol and the reality snaps. This proves language isn't solid code, it is just fragile electricity. If the electricity stops, the reality of the word dissolves. It is a terrifying reminder that your understanding of the world is hanging by a thread of tired neurons. Repeat money enough times, and it becomes meaningless paper. Repeat your name enough, and you might forget who you are. Number 5. The Bader-Meinhof Phenomenon You buy a specific car, say a bright yellow Beetle. You think you are unique. Then you drive off the lot and suddenly see 10 yellow Beetles on the way home. Did the universe just copy-paste your car to save memory? Did the simulation update? No. This is the Bader-Meinhof Phenomenon, or the Frequency Illusion. It feels like the matrix is glitching, but it is your reticular activating system, or RAS, messing with you. Your brain is constantly bombarded with millions of bits of data. To keep you from going insane, your RAS filters out 99% of it as background noise. You are always passing yellow beetles, you just didn't care, so your brain deleted them from your conscious awareness. But the moment you bought one, your brain marked yellow beetle as important data. Now the filter lets them all through. It is exactly like Grand Theft Auto when you get in a rare car and suddenly traffic is full of them. You aren't manifesting reality. You just took the lens cap off your eyes. The world was always this crowded. You were just too self-absorbed to notice. Number 4. 
Change blindness. Imagine you're giving directions to a stranger on the street. Suddenly, two workers carrying a large wooden door walk right between you, briefly blocking your view. In that split second, the stranger swaps places with a totally different person, different height, different shirt, different voice. You would instantly notice the switch, right? Absolutely not. You would almost certainly keep talking to the new guy like an NPC with terrible AI. This is change blindness, and it is the ultimate proof that your brain is lazy. In a famous Harvard study, 50% of participants didn't notice when the person they were speaking to was physically replaced mid-sentence. Why? Because your brain isn't recording a 4K video of reality that takes too much energy. Instead, it takes a quick snapshot. Man, gray coat, asking directions and then stops paying attention to the details. As long as the new guy fits the general description, your brain assumes nothing changed because objects usually don't just morph into other objects. The developers of the simulation know they can swap out the assets while you blink, and your brain is simply too low resolution to catch them doing it. Number three, Jame Vu. You definitely know deja vu, that spooky feeling where you think, I have been here before. But there is an evil twin sister called Jame Vu which translates to never seen, and it is infinitely more terrifying. Imagine walking into your own bedroom, looking at your best friend, or staring at your own reflection, and for a split second, you have absolutely no idea what any of it is. It feels fake. It feels alien. It feels like you just spawned into a stranger's life. You recognize the shapes, but the meaning is gone. While deja vu is a memory error, where the brain mistakes the present for the past, Jamevu is a processing error. Your brain momentarily disconnects visual input from your memory bank. You see the pixels, but the meaning file fails to load. It is exactly like when a word stops looking like a word, but applied to reality. Musicians get this often. They play a song a thousand times, and suddenly the notes look like random ink spots. It proves your reality is just a label your brain slaps on things. The only reason your house feels like home is because your neurons say so. If that label falls off, you are just a stranger standing in a box of wood and drywall. Number two, the rubber hand illusion. You think you know exactly where your body ends and the rest of the world begins. You assume your hand belongs to you simply because it is attached to your arm. But you are wrong. Your brain's map of your body is surprisingly hackable with a cheap party trick. In a famous experiment, scientists hide your real hand behind a screen and place a fake rubber hand in front of you. They then stroke both hands with a brush at the exact same rhythm. Within 60 seconds, a terrifying glitch occurs. You physically feel the touch coming from the plastic hand. If the scientist suddenly smashes the rubber hand with a hammer, you will jump in genuine physical pain and your heart rate will spike. This is a proprioception failure. Your brain trusts your eyes way more than your internal sensors. It sees the rubber hand being touched, feels the rhythm, and decides, okay, the plastic hand is part of the avatar now, and effectively deletes the connection to your real limb. It implies your soul isn't really attached to your meat suit. Your body image is just a temporary hallucination your brain maintains. If the sensory input syncs up, your brain will happily claim a mannequin, a table, or a block of wood as you. You are just software piloting whatever hardware seems to respond. Number one, chronostasis. Let's get right into the ultimate glitch. You glance up at a ticking analog clock. For a terrifying split second, the second hand freezes. It hangs there for way longer than a second before finally ticking. Did you just stop time? Did the simulation server lag? No, this is chronostasis, or the stopped clock illusion, and it proves your brain edits reality in post-production. Here's the truth. Your eyes are constantly darting around in rapid movements, called saccades. If you actually saw this motion, the world would look like a shaky handheld movie and you would vomit instantly. To fix this, your brain cuts the video feed every time your eyes move. You are effectively blind for about 40 minutes every single day. But the brain hates gaps, so when your eyes land on the clock, your brain takes that static image and copy-pastes it backward in time to fill the gap while your eyes are moving. It literally overwrites your memory of the darkness with the image you are seeing now. 
you aren't seeing reality in real time. You are watching a delayed broadcast edited for continuity to hide the frame drops. The present moment is a lie stitched together so you don't realize the system is loading. You are technically living in the past. That's all for today. If your brain is still functioning after all that, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Don't forget to share this video with a friend who needs an existential crisis and make sure to subscribe. We post brand new videos every single day, so turn on those notifications so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.